초동대응은 빠를수록 완벽할수록 어, 이게 좋다. 그리고 그것에 지금 어, 사활이 걸려 있다. 이렇게 저는 말씀드리고 싶습니다. The daily average of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Seoul is reported as 2.9 despite a series of mass infection crises. 24-hour-a-day-from-the-early-stages-to-monitor-new-infectious-disease-control-and-prevention. for 24 hours a day from the early stages to monitor new infectious diseases and disinfected public transportations and facilities used by many citizens and visitors. Seoul, while monitoring the virus, had also prepared necessary countermeasures against the COVID-19, such as citizens' guidelines, virus testing, contacts management, and quarantine treatment. To contain the virus to not spread to the local community, Seoul was committed to conducting epidemiological investigation, quarantine treatment, and identifying and tracking patients and contacts. Seoul now becomes a model for cities around the world in terms of the COVID-19 quarantine measures. At the request of cities overseas, the Seoul Metropolitan Government opened an online platform entitled CAC which stands for Cities Against COVID-19 on April 9th, and has been sharing all information on the COVID-19 quarantine know-hows and countermeasures Seoul has taken so far. However, Seoul has not completely succeeded in COVID-19 quarantine. The first crisis came to Seoul in March, after the country's first outbreak of COVID-19 in January. A mass infection occurred at a call center in Guro District. 서울에서 발생한 집단 감염 가운데 최대 규모의 사례가 나왔습니다. 27명이 추가로 확진된 겁니다. 한 집단 발생 즉각 대응반을 구성해서 역학 조사를 실시하고 있습니다. 위중하게 이 상황을 인식하고 추가 확산을 막기 위해서 최선을 다하고 있습니다. Using mobile access records and credit card transactions, the city government identified more than 1,000 contacts and conducted tests for COVID-19. The government asked for citizens for active cooperation for self-quarantine to prevent a second or third transmission of the virus to the community. Call centers and public facilities across Seoul were disinfected thoroughly. Uh, 어, 저희들이 그 요청한 대로의 생활 방역을 철저히 해주셨고 확진 환자 유증상이 발생했을 시에는 각 보건소에 적극적으로 검사를 임해므로서 저희들이 효과를 거두지 않았나 이렇게 생각을 합니다. After the switch from the social distancing to the distancing in daily life in May, an unexpected mass infection occurred at clubs in Itaewon. Based on the experience of mass infection at the Guru call center, the city government tracked down the Itaewon visitors working together with the National Police Agency and the mobile service companies. The Seoul Metropolitan Government immediately introduced the anonymous testing and operated additional walkthrough testing stations. As the number of confirmed cases is rising, Seoul is once again checking quarantine countermeasures against COVID-19 and conducting preemptive virus testings. The distancing in daily life has been further tightened, 
We must stay alert to this unpredictable virus. And they are uh, going through a, a sort of more stringent lockdown than we've had here in South Korea because the South Korean government and I guess the, the Seoul government have dealt with the coronavirus in kind of unique ways, particularly in terms of testing and contact tracing and, you know, targeted quarantining. The country's been a, a little bit more successful in keeping the number of cases and the number of deaths down. Well, I think the most important part of, you know, so-called K-quarantine is the contact tracing that needs to take place. In order to contain the virus, you need to know where it came from. And that means that, you know, Western countries, the publics in Western countries are going to need to sacrifice some of their privacy in order for contact tracing to be really effective. That's the biggest lesson that I think uh, other countries and other governments can learn from South Korea's experiencing experience in, in containing the virus. Along with the immediate response of the government, dedication of the frontline medical workers and participation of citizens who practice social distancing made it possible for Korea to be a role model in quarantine measures. Yet, COVID-19 will leave much of an impact on our society. It has changed our daily lives and economic and social damages are also significant. For any possible outbreak in the future, what should we do to prepare? For the world after COVID-19, how can cities in the world cooperate with each other? Now, the world is paying attention to Seoul's next move.
Ladies and gentlemen and investors from home and abroad, welcome to the Innovative Companies IR. I'm English announcer Jessica Lee, and today I've given the honor of being the moderator for this session. And in this Innovative Companies IR, we'll introduce 22 outstanding companies in 2020s in bio industry and untech sector, which will becoming the world standard in the post-COVID-19 era. And before we begin, for your information, we're running today's discussion and session live over the English version of Seoul City's YouTube channel, and the people around the globe are watching this in real time. And this session was planned for the sales of innovative companies in Seoul. So we would like to ask for your active support and also interest. In the coronavirus era that the entire world was focusing on South Korea and Seoul, we have prepared a video of how Seoul has been preparing for new standards and why the world should pay attention to Seoul. So before we begin our presentations, let's watch this video first. What are the determinants that affect FDI? Safety has not been considered a crucial determinant. The COVID-19 pandemic has been disrupting the global supply chain and market demand while breaking down the traditional principles of economy and industry. However, South Korea and Seoul have quickly and transparently responded to the COVID-19 outbreak and have been able to continue their everyday economic activities without measures lockdown or shutdown. As a result of this global pandemic, new world orders are being formed. Under our new economic order, remote business opportunities, safe business, and trust within business relationships will become important factors that affect the global economy. As safety as well as reliable business environment becomes a very big requirement for many companies and other countries to do business, Seoul is well equipped with an untacked industry, such as the world's fastest internet connection, smartphones used by every citizen, and the world's first nationwide commercial 5G network. Additionally, the untacked ecosystem has incorporated in industries from online shopping to the content creation. has continued developing its virtual business environment without a nationwide lockdown or shutdown. Additionally, the business's ecosystem has continued to thrive from primary industries to fourth industries. Therefore, Seoul can handle the external shock. Despite the COVID-19 crisis, Korea has continued its trade and shared ways to overcome COVID-19 with other major cities around the world. Seoul is an extremely reliable business partner. After the world has recovered from the COVID-19 pandemic and a new normal has been formed, you should invest Seoul. We are finalizing the details to open up our office, plug and play Seoul to not only serve our smart city initiative, but serve our IoT mobility activity, financial services activity for banking insurance. Then Seoul, try everything, whatever you want. Invest Seoul. Yes, um, as this video is saying, we can see that the interest in untech and bio industry are becoming a new standard rather than just a temporary trend. 
The innovative company's IR today consists of three parts, which are general bio sector and IT-based on-tech sector and bio-IT convergence sector. The first part is general bio sector. The bio industry is attracting attention as a new growth engine for the next generation due to the outbreak of this COVID-19 pandemic. After the COVID-19 outbreak, the expectation that global companies will be more interested in K-Bio's investment is being highly anticipated today. So we are looking forward to see what kind of stories that they will show us today. Then now, we will begin the session. And the first presentation is prepared by Rafes. This company is a leading company in the world-class microarray drug delivery technology, and I'm also looking forward to hearing from them. So if you're ready, please begin your presentation. Hello, my name is Ziyad. I'm in charge of medical business division in Rafes. I'm delighted to introduce my company, and variable microarray drug delivery system in front of you. I am delighted to introduce today, you understand why microarray path is necessary for infectious disease, such as COVID-19. Here in EPTA, I will call the microarray patch is the map. The first, as you know, vaccine reminds us the needle injection, but many of us don't like needle because they are painful. Actually, more than 5% of people in this world have a needle phobia. So they don't like to go to the hospital because of the fear of needle. Second one, after using a hypodermic needle, it becomes a sharp medical waste. WHO said that about 1.3 million deaths for years took place due to the cross-contamination with the needle waste. The third one, we need to talk about one of the key issues as a cold chain supply of vaccine. The cold chain is essential requirements for vaccine stability, from the production to the application. Most of the vaccine is delivered using the cold chain supply, and it costs about $6 billion per year. But I have a question. How can you solve these issues? The solution is the map. This animation shows what is the map and how to walk? The map is easily administration to our skin. When map made with the skin fluid, it will be dissolved like this. And releasing into our body. Take a look at these slides. Let me summarize the advantage of a map. Map gives us some benefits. It's to store and use without pain. And map formulation provides drug stability, delivering without constraint, and no medical waste. Map, as a platform technology, has various potentiality. LaPaz has already achieved global commercialization by applying it to high functional cosmetics. And it can be applied to diagnosis medical device and medical products. Most importantly, MAP is very useful for vaccine delivery. This is shows our medical pipeline. Our pipeline has been divided three parts, vaccine within the coronavirus, and prescription drugs, and OTCN medical device. I think this slide is the most important for microarray vaccine patch. This image is the human skin, the basically, Hypodermic needle is rich to subcutaneous layer and injecting vaccine in there. But our immune cell is located upper dermis layer. Theoretically, the hypodermic injection becomes in the loss of opportunity for the injected vaccine to contact the immune cell. On the other hand, MAP can release vaccine into dermis layer directly. So that MAP gives us much higher opportunity to contact the immune cells. The key point to look at this right box. LaPaz has constructed a sole and fully automatic manufacturing system. As you can see, this is our inline automatic manufacturing equipment. This process shows map publication, automatic inspection, separation, and primary packaging. I assure you, 
Lapses only mass production system for the map. Lapas is located in Seoul, Mago. And we constructed clinical GMP for medical microarray patch in there, R&D center. And look at the right images. This is our commercialization factory in China. Our vision is the creative company that contributes to the health and happiness of mankind. Our employees are committed to human health and healing as a world-class technology company. Thank you for your listening. Thank you very much for sure sharing your words. And next, we will have MX Bio. MX Bio is a pharmaceutical company that makes improved new drugs using nanobiotechnology. Um, today, I'm also looking forward to hearing from them. And if you're ready, please begin your presentation, sir. Hello, everyone. My name is Jaehyun Lee. I'm the CEO of MX Bio. MX Bio is looking for the effective prevention and treatment for periodontal disease. According to CDC report, half of adults three or older have some form of periodontal disease. Existing treatments are expensive and inefficient. We have three pipelines. First, chloro chip is a biodegradable chip, which is developed by electrospinning nanofiber technology. Second one is a combination ointment with two antibiotics. The third is a medical device for tissue regeneration. Our three products can prevent periodontal disease and treat it. This is how to treat periodontal disease with our chlorochip. Human is our first target, but our solutions are also may apply to patch that suffer the same disease. There are some numbers about the market. Our products have better performance and affordability than these pr products. Therefore, we can enter the market easily. Our key value propositions are ex excellent efficacy and low price, open innovation, and electrospinning nanofiber technology. In Korea, we already have a strong relationship with those hospitals to treat periodontal disease. Recently, we signed a distribution contract with New Medi Thailand. We are looking forward to making another contract with you. MX Bio has strong R&D power, so we received lots of funds from investment companies and government. MX Bio has built a perfect team for making these projects successful. As I said, I am here, the CEO of MX Bio, and the trusted names I work together are here. I'm looking for fresh funding of $5 million in precise Series B. Funding will be used for marketing and sales for Pipeline 1, clinical trial for Pipeline 2, and development for Pipeline 3. 
10 years later, many people will remember 2020 as a COVID-19 year. However, you will remember 2020 as a MX Bio year because of this pre presentation. Thank you for your attention. Yes, thank you for your story and your presentation. Then now we have Chinu Bio, which is a specializing biomedical venture company for solid hyaluronic acid technology platform. If you're ready, you have the floor. Hello, everyone. I'm CEO in Chinu Bio. I'm very happy to introduce about Chinu Bio's technology, like this big event. Genobio is a specializing biomedical venture for solid high hyaluronic acid technology platform, be shortened SHTP. Please watch the short, interesting animation. For two minutes. The world's first commercialization of solid hyaluronic acid technology, Genu Bio, for injection or implant into the human body. The main or most important component of existing gel or liquid type hyaluronic acid products is actually water. These liquid products are at a risk of microbial contamination and difficult to immobilize the desired area by tissue. There are lots of generic products due to the expiration of patent rights, so the price competition is fierce. What is the difference between Jin U Bio's solid HA technology platform and other products? It offers excellent biocompatibility without side effects, general sterilization availability, safety and convenience, excellent price competitiveness, and excellent targeting of the desired area. Jin U Bio has the world's first patent rights related to solid HA technology platforms, such as fiber or film, enabling it to conduct global marketing. Let's take a look at the characteristics of Jin U Bio's solidification products. The HA film attached to the wound site is gelled by the body fluid and absorbed gradually. It acts on the wound site along with the growth factors contained in the body fluid. Then cells promoted by the absorbed HA secrete cytokine. Cytokine activates fibroblasts and epithelial cells to start skin regeneration. And HA reduces scarring by preventing collagen deposits. HA thread injected easily and safely for wrinkle treatment is gradually gelled by the body fluid, increases the volume and is absorbed by the surrounding cells and tissues. And then it increases skin moisturizing, elasticity and anti-wrinkle effect. Jin U Bio's 100% pure solid HA products have almost no side effects due to inflammatory reactions and skin or tissue necrosis. Yes, Genobio is a core component in the human skin. As the HA bio comparability HA have been applied uh, lots of fields like this uh, as a liquid or gel types. Otherwise, uh, synthetic polymer PDO thread is uh, largely used for beauty plastic surgery field recently owing to its high convenience. Genobio's all HA final products have some toxic chemicals concerning the side effect. PDO thread is a synthetic polymer concerning the side effect. Unlike these materials, Genobio's products have a high mechanical properties like this. And then next I try to explain the, our clinical and animal test result for our product. First, I explained about the HA thread. First is uh, our HA thread is inserted in his dye. All clinical tests have been carried out as a self-clinical test by our plastic surgeon research. Inserted uh, in his dye after we checked in this effect of uh, its uh, foreign body reaction, its duration time, its absorption behavior. Second, uh, HS thread is inserted in he, her face uh, like this. Next, uh, I try to explain about uh, 
our h s p l m t Animal Test Result, h p l m s have a high attachability, high targeting ability. Due to the, this properties, uh, our h p l m s have a higher wound healing of ability compared to existing HA gear. Genobio, you have a schedule to have a launch in order to test dermal patch, skin formulation, health food, and oral patch wound dressing in this year. Next, uh, by 2022, we have a schedule to, run, to launch wound dressing and uh, implantable HS thread. And then we have a schedule to launch in US market and the EU market by 2023. Next, Genobio is uh, started is uh, seven years ago. I have worked in this field uh, 24 years ago, 24 years. Uh, instead of me, after clinical test for my product, uh, instead of me, uh, medical plastic surgeon, Dr. Bach, have played the CTO in my group. Genovio, through research activities and uh, business activities, uh, through all members' team workers, we have a schedule to have an IPO by two, 20, uh, 2023. Uh, thank you for hearing my pity. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now here is Phyto Corporation, creating the future of food with the world's first plant-based salt that can reduce sodium intake by 20%. Let's invite Phyto Corporation to the stage. And if you're ready, please begin your presentation. 안녕하세요. Hello, uh, my name is Emily Park, a senior researcher at uh, Phyto Cooperation, where the future of the food with the world's first plant-based salt is created. Now, the population is growing exponentially, and uh, the population is suffering from the food shortage. This is because the increase in the food production cannot keep up with the increase in the population, especially uh, the food production sector is uh, struggling because of water shortage uh, caused by drought. However, even without uh, using water, uh, there is this plant that can grow uh, with sea water. It's salicornia. Salicornia is a nutritious food material that is grown by seawater on seashore land is a sustainable future food that can address the food shortage problem caused by water shortage. This is why a lot of the sectors uh, have been attempting uh, to make salicornia as one of the major food resources for a very long time. However, uh, this element, uh, which grows with seawater and accumulates a lot of salt in its body, was too salty uh, to eat. And uh, let me now share the story of our CEO, uh, Duke Kim, when he tried salicornia for the first time, he couldn't taste it, he couldn't eat it at all because it was too salty. But this is when he had an aha moment. He came up with the idea of separating a large amount of salt from salicornia and developing a 100% plant-based salt and also making the remaining desalinated part eatable as food. This led to the start of our business. Phyto Corporation developed the world's first 100% plant-based salt called Phyto Salt and developed a new superfood ingredient called Phyto Meal, which is made with the remaining desalinated part of salicornia. So Phyto Corporation is a patented technology-based startup that currently holds 35 patents and has won the 2019 Korea Outstanding Patent Award. It also won the Singapore government's Startup SG Award at Future Food Asia 2019. Phyto Salt is a naturally low sodium salt that can reduce sodium intake by 20%. And also, uh, from the medical perspective, potassium excretes sodium from the body, and phytosalt has an ideal ratio of 7 to 1 of sodium to potassium, which is uh, why phytosalt is so effective uh, with high blood pressure. 
Also, most of sea salt contains microplastics. However, that's not the case with salicornia because uh, it has a cell membrane which filters out the microplastics in the seawater. Thus, uh, phytosalt is a very healthy salt. It also contains uh, an adequate amount of glutamic acid, so it tastes good. It's a delicious uh, superfood. Phytomeal is also a superfood uh, made by desalinating salicornia. Phytomeal is a healthy food resource that has 40% less calories and 70 times more calcium than flour. It is rich in high-quality dietary fiber as well as flavonoids. Thus, it is very effective in body fat reduction and hyperlipidemia. As shown in the photo, and the right, phytomeal is highly applicable um, to food as a resource uh, that goes well with a wide variety of food. It pairs well with other food. And Phyto Corporation discovered a canthocyte B, a compound that is good for memory and cognitive function from salicornia for the first time in the world. And with this element, Phyto Corporation developed a phyto memory, a memory enhancer. And memory tea is a delicious RTD tea made with this element, a memory enhancing compound extracted from salicornia. Memory tea is currently available for sale at Emart, the largest supermarket uh, in South Korea. In addition, uh, the company has also developed a number of innovative products from salicornia and uh, have published articles about the effectiveness of the product uh, in various SCI level international journals. And uh, it was uh, selected as uh, one of the world's uh, 13 innovative companies at the Terra Cohort 4 competition in San Francisco. We developed uh, three new products, including the burger patty for fat loss by collaborating with MLA, a global meat company. And these products were first introduced in LA in March this year, and we are planning to launch these products in the market with MLA. Last week, our company was selected as one of the world's 13 innovative companies at Amway Neutralites Open Innovation Expo 2020. Phyto Corporation is currently preparing for Series B funding to extend this business and open a new feature of the food with the world's first plant-based salt. Thank you very much for your time. Inspirational speech. And next, Helix Smith is waiting for their time. It's a company that helps patients live longer and better lives through cutting-edge R&D in plasmid DNA-based gene therapies. Let's invite them to the stage, and if you're ready, please begin your presentation. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Michael Na, CFO of uh, Helix Smith. Uh, Helix Smith is a multi-platform gene and cell therapy company. The company was uh, started back in 1996, uh, which makes it the oldest biotech company in Korea. Um, our management team, led by Sun Young Kim, is quite experienced with an average industry experience of uh, roughly 30 years. Uh, William Schmidt successfully launched four different pain medications before joining Helix Smith, and uh, Keith Hall uh, has 30 plus years of experience in CMC. Um, in the biologic world, uh, antibodies dominate the market. Last, last year, um, antibodies generated about $130 billion in revenue. In comparison, gene and cell therapy market practically did not exist until recently. Uh, but going forward, we believe gene and cell therapy market will experience hypergrowth, reaching $44 billion market by 2024. Within gene and cell therapy space, we currently cover all major technologies. Plasmid DNA, AAV, and CAR-T. Uh, we're running about 11 different programs, and most of our, our target indications are the ones with the huge unmet medical needs. And we will soon add a few more AAV programs to this list. Uh, not listed here, but we do have a, one additional CAR-T program, uh, VM802. It was licensed out to Bluebird Bio in 2015. Uh, historically, there has not been that many plasmid DNA pro uh, plas uh, programs. Uh, we think it's mainly because of the low transfection efficiency. However, uh, our expression platform is powerful enough to overcome this issue. Using our patented uh, promoter technology, combined with the code and optimization, we were able to boost the expression level by 30 to 40, uh, 40 times uh, compared to other plasmid DNA platforms. Our flagship product, Engensys, 
or VM202, uh, which was built using our plasmid DNA platform technology, expresses two different isoforms of HEGF, hepatocyte growth factor. Um, through alternative splicing, uh, splicing technology, we were able to do this. HEGF is known to have a neurogenesis and angiogenesis capability. Uh, VM202 targets painful diabetic peripheral neuropathy and diabetic foot ulcer. Uh, these indications are in phase three in the US. Uh, for, two, uh, for these two indications, we have received RMET designation, which stands for Regenerative Medicine Advanced Therapy. And VM202 also targets ALS and charcot marie tooth These indications are orphan diseases, and there are practically no treatment option available. Uh, the most advanced program, uh, painful diabetic peripheral neuropathy, has produced quite compelling data sets so far. It has shown excellent safety profile and efficacy, and uh, considering the uh, longevity of uh, its efficacy, basically we do think that uh, we have proven it's a regeneration capability. In phase two, the delta value for the non-medicated subjects uh, was 2.37 at the primary endpoint. Compare that to 1.2 for Lyrica which is the first-line drug for the painful diabetic peripheral neuropathy at the moment. In phase 3-1b, uh, uh, after two cycles of treatment at de day 0 and day 90, uh, VM202 achieved statistical significance at 12 months, uh, which we believe is a strong evidence uh, for new neurogenesis. Uh, we plan to conduct two more mid-size phase three studies for this indication, targeting uh, just the non-medicated subjects. Uh, since VM202 works much better for the non-medicated patients, we believe that the new clinical study pro protocol should significantly increase the probability of success. And hopefully uh, file BLA for this indication by 2022. Uh, given that the uh, refractory patient population is over one million in the US, we believe VM202 has the potential to become a global blockbuster. Another promising program is ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. In phase one, uh, with just one cycle of treatment, we noted 27% slowdown in disease progress. We will soon start the pivotal study with the repeat treatment scheme. If we apply repeat treatment, we should be able to slow down the disease progress even further. Lastly, we're adding a new business line. Thanks to uh, explosive growth in gene and cell therapy, we decided to convert our in-house CMC facility in San Diego into a CMO. Uh, with the help of strategic partners, we expect to generate CMO revenue starting next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. And next, we have Hugh Master. Today, they will share a presentation on the paradigm shift in air conditioning from cooling to humidity. If you're ready, please begin your presentation. Thank you. Hello, uh, I'm Kim Seng Yong of uh, Hugh Master, a startup venture company by KIST, Korea Institute of Science and Technology. Today, what I'm going to give a speech about a uh, fundamental solution to the problem of humidity, which has not been effectively controlled or concurred. Please never forget, it's not, the, it's not that the world hasn't had any problem with humidity. We just put up with it because we don't have any solution. Please now don't take it anymore. It's the humidity, stupid. Uh, let's search the keyword best climate in the world on Google, and you can see this. Near uh, the Mediterranean Sea and the western part of the US are the most typical uh, for the best climate in the world. If you connect these areas with similar average temperature in the summer season, you will see this. Lucky or unlucky, uh, city of Seoul where I live is uh, in the same line as this fantastic climate on the Earth. But summer in Seoul is not like this. Uh, what's the problem? It's, not, uh, it's the humidity, as you already guessed. Uh, let's compare Seoul to Athens, the representative city of the Mediterranean. Summer temperature in uh, Seoul and Athens are not much different. Even the temperature in Athens is higher. Yes, it is a problem of humidity. Humidity causes huge difference to the life, but we are still not able to control it. 
Qmaster hopes to change the paradigm of air conditioning technology invented by Willis Carrier about 100 years ago. It's a great invention. So we are still using the 20th century's technology. But are you satisfied with aircon, uh, which will lead you to the South Pole, or dehumidifier, which will lead you to the desert? Humaster's product, Humicon, is a real air conditioner that solves the problem of aircon and dehumidifiers uh, at once by only control humidity, not temperature. As you know, in high temperature and humid, country, humid countries, things like these are happening in commonly as it is natural. Everyone is giving up on humidity controlling. Moreover, COVID-19 is a global pandemic that is more serious than uh, all these pains I mentioned. But unfortunately, until the vaccine is developed, and even if it is, the fear of other virus will continue to haunt humanity. So we have to prepare so-called new normal. There are several researches about the relationship between humidity and viruses, and it, it turns out that the virus virality uh, is the lowest at 50% humidity. Uh, in detail, if uh, the, at 50% humidity, the viability level drops uh, from 100% to 1% maximum. This is where Humaster's Humicon is the best. Humicon will be a safe solution to the new normal era. Uh, Humaster was founded in uh, 2019, and Humaster's uh, flagship product, Humicon, is the only product on the earth that has conquered humidity without temperature change based on discount dehumidification cooling. In addition, it is an only one built-in product with all-in-one that has air purifying and heat recovery ventilation. SDP, super, uh, super discount polymer, a key material is patented in Korea and the US and being produced exclusively by Humaster is the world's best discount dehumidifier and used as a core material for Humicon. As mentioned earlier, STP has the best functions as a dehumidifier as well as deodorization, antibacterial, and antifungal. The, humidif uh, the Humicon has also four-step air purifying system and function to reduce ozone by STP to create a pleasant indoor environment. Based on the excellence of the, this material, the Humicon is all, an all-in-one equipment. What you can see is excellent in all performance. Uh, there are many countries on the earth that need dehumidification cooling through humidity control because many cities have grown based on Agrarian societies a long time ago, more than 60% of the population in the world lives in high temperature and humid countries, which means that the potential of Schumacher's Humicon is very bright. The paradigm will be shifted in the near future. Don't forget, it's the humidity. Humidity is related to virus. The problem is humidity. Thank you. Thank you, and also thank you for sharing meaningful words. And this brings us to the end of the first part of the session, and now we will invite companies from IT-based on-tech field. Non-face-to-face -face life is a new paradigm in the future, including virtual conferences and distance learning. So today, let's invite companies from IT-based on-tech technologies and listen to their words. First of all, we have Neo Sapiens. It is a startup that innovates the media content industry through AI technology. And if you're ready, the floor is yours. Hi, everyone. My name is Tetsu Kim. I'm the CEO of NeoSapiens. Uh, we in innovate the media content industry through AI technology. Mm. We developed, uh, we developed uh, emotion expressive speech synthesis technology and recently launched AI voice actor service called Typecast. Uh, so far, text content has been the major information source of our daily life, 
But these days, people don't read text, rather watch video. Mm. So the text content is required to convert to video format. Voice recording is essential to make video from text. However, voice production is very inefficient process because the machine couldn't replace the human voice yet. Voice recording is just like handwriting to create uh, printings when uh, the word processor wasn't invented. So we invented word processor for voice production. Uh, we called it Typecast, which is an artificial vo voice actor service. Mm. Let's see the video. Introducing Typecast, an artificial intelligence voice actor service. Enter the text you wish to vocalize and choose a voice character suitable for your content. You can also select multiple characters and assign them to different sentences. There are a wide range of styles for each character, which can be selected separately for each sentence. You can also control the speed of speech and the length of pause between sentences. By listening to the generated speech, you can make it sound more natural by fixing word spellings with how it's pronounced or by inserting spaces and commas. When you are done, you can also download or share the audio. With Typecast, the voice BTS in this Live video was Soul. created by Typecast service. Live Soul like I do. I saw you. Oh, and we can also clone someone's voice in different languages, like this in video. What we have overcome, and we are here today. That's me, the Magia. I can sing fake love. This. We can and also we generate can singing love, voice. I'm so sorry, but fake love, fake love, the pillow. You saw a man dance a photo with the job catcher dancer. So, how was it? Um, the speaking is not just one-to-one not just -one mapping from text to speech. Uh, human can speak the same sentences in various different ways. For example, like, I can say, like, hi, everyone, and also I can say, like, hi, everyone. Those two are completely different, right? So uh, our key technology is to generate speech with uh, controllable parameters, such as emotion, intonation, and acting styles. Uh, we launched this service uh, about a year ago, and now we have uh, more than uh, 30,000 registered users. Uh, our users are cr creators, such as writers, bloggers, YouTubers, etc. Mm, they, they create, uh, these days, uh, under COVID-19 pandemic situation, uh, teachers became our users too. We helped them to create their e-learning content much easier than before. Uh, some of our customers published uh, the paid audiobook created by AI, uh, 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 which are available in uh, Google Play Bookstore right now. And one of them was the world first case. And we made, uh, we made, uh, we make rebirth of uh, that daughter to her, her mom in a documentary film called I Met You, which recorded 20 million views at YouTube. Most of our users um, creating, uh, is creating, uh, most of our users are creating online video dubbing or newscasting. Uh, they are happy with our service. So uh, we innovate the media content industry through AI. With our technology, you will see various AI actors everywhere soon. Thank you. Thank you. And next, we have Robaras, the smartest, most customer-centric AI company on the planet. And please welcome them. And we would like to invite them to the stage. Yeah, if you're ready. 
You have the floor. Hello, I'm D.H. Kim, uh, co-founder and CEO of Roboros. We are mainly focused on the customers, who they are and what they want, in parallel with how to enhance the working environment, reflecting current market situation, referring to COVID-19 impact. Then we realized that data and AI machine learning for personalization is the key thing. That being said, if your customers are happy, you are doing something right. If they are not happy, you have to change something. In other words, we found out the solution that is, the, that is to recognize, analyze, and personalize. Through identification and classification, using the face recognition, we can collect not only customer side, but also its sales and environment data to combine each other. Then we provide tailored service for B2C customers like uh, quick ordering, recommendation, smart membership, etc. And for B2B customers like upselling, interactive advertisement, employee relationship, and face payment. Here are our uh, service use cases, recommendation, reflecting customer's preference, interactive advertisement by customer's classification, and satisfaction measurement by detecting customer's mood. Smart membership, including face payment, point reward, and discount, and also employee relationship to face check-in and attitude measurement also available. We have two core technologies. One is face recognition to identify and classify the customers. The other one is data analytic using web-based real-time component like uh, Kafka, Cassandra, and uh, Kibana. We sell the in-store device and collect monthly maintenance fee as well as licensing according to terms and conditions with the customers. We have strategic partners with other startup companies for face payment, kiosk, POS, and hardware design in Korea. We've delivered our first paid pilot into 7-Eleven Korea and continue discussing how to extend the service with lower price device up to 30% out of total 10,000 stores by end of 2021. And Clover is our uh, first overseas priority customer who has allowed us to be an unofficial un developer since March 2019. And employee management solution by end of 2020. We are focusing on those four industries and narrowing down fast food and retail stores to target the market reflecting our experience and opportunity. We have very experienced members, mostly in South Korea for R&D, and sales expert in the United States. I worked in Foxconn and Nokia as a technical sales and a program manager in the past 10 years, and robotics company for three years right before this robots. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. And next company is Verb Solution. They are specialized in providing radio frequency-based power to all kinds of electronic devices with a range of up to 20 feet. So let's invite them to the stage and please begin your presentation. Innovate your life with a truly wireless feature. This is Swap Solution. My name is Minnie, and I'd like to give you a preview on next generation of wireless charging. WAP solution provides over-the-air wireless charging, which lets customers lead their charging cable anywhere. 
We currently produce a patented radio frequency power amplifier, which is core component of wireless charging at 5G network. Because of the effect of coronavirus, 5G technology and IoT devices will be needed in more places, such as hospitals, homes, and factory. Powering all these IoT devices in the new reality that we live in presents significant problem and demands an innovative solution. At your home, for example, IoT sensors such as security system or fire alarm require either batteries or cable. If there is no power, Internet of Thing is just a thing. I'm sorry. IoT technology today also forces us to answer some practical and ethical questions. How can we charge hundreds of devices simultaneously? Is it really even smart without batteries? How can we dispose of all these batteries responsibly? Globally, enormous resources are consumed every day to replace batteries. Therefore, the demand for convenient, sustainable, and environmentally friendly charging technology is increasing steadily. Market analysts predict that by 2025, RF technology will be virtually ubiquitous among smart homes and smart factories. Our RF wireless charging technology will be there to provide the solution. The in-building RF transmitter works seamlessly just like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth at your home. It is all controlled by an app to track battery draining devices and to charge multiple devices simultaneously. And in the future, we will be sending power via 5G-based 5G -based station and repeaters. So that means that everyone can experience real wireless charging anywhere, anytime, without having to worry about the batteries. It can be very useful in a pandemic like coronavirus, since it is not only sustainable, but also reduce the need for the human interaction. Then, why WAP solution? Our technology has the capacity to release more than 200 watts, so we can charge hundreds of devices simultaneously. By directly manufacturing the power amplifier, we are also able to offer customized products in a compact size at an economical price. The patented multi-frequency multi-charge technology enables the transmitter to send power through different frequency channels, which further enhance efficiency and offers significantly faster charging speed than other competitors. We have various product lines ranging from near field to far field. The middle field transmitter, which is compact smart pad mini, puts a range of up to a full meter. It, is, it has been critically acknowledged as cutting edge technology and product by Korean government. And the far field transmitters sends power up to six meter. We have already delivered it to several major companies in Korea, and they will apply those Will those products to their smart factory. Even if our company only account for 1% of IoT sensor market at the first year, we are expecting to secure a revenue of $85 million. Without, target market, without our target market left the league spending, we are looking, for, looking forward to skyrocketing growth of revenue by the year 2025. We currently only cover devices that require below 5 watts of charging energy, but thanks to the new 10 watt receiver chip we will produce within this year, our technology will be able to charge devices that higher power. And this year, we are focusing on developing transmitters to charge electronic shelf levels for using commercial area. Our CEO, Gyeonghak Lee, has more than 20 years' experience and expertise in antenna and PA development, and most of our team members are engineers with outstanding skills. We have secured our technology with 16 patents, raised over $2 million at this point, and have worked with over 40 companies these past two years. We are in the processing of securing CDB funding so that we can continue producing top quality charging solutions as well as gain entry into the global market. Please consider joining us here at WAP Solution in our venture toward providing more innovative and state-of-art charging technologies to the world. Thank you for sharing your precious time with us today.
And now let's begin the third part of this session. Let's take a look at innovative companies that are creating new industry standards by integrating rapidly emerging bio and IT technologies as a future growth engine. Following is bio IT convergence field. And the first company waiting us is DKI Technology, a family healthcare service through open platform and AI technology. And please begin your presentation. 안녕하세요, 여러분. Hello, everyone. I am Kyungsoo Ha, CEO of DKI Technology. DKI Technology is a healthcare platform company with the vision of becoming a digital healthcare leader by growing with customers through technology innovation. In our team, there are 50 some researchers working in their relevant areas. In Korea's digital healthcare industry landscape, 53% of global top 100 healthcare companies' business models cannot be serviced or will be restricted due to Korea's laws and regulations. In addition, various healthcare services are being launched, but 80% of startups go out of business within five years. To resolve these problems, DKI Technologies provides two solutions. First, an open digital healthcare platform service ecosystem will be created. Second, we need to think about not only individuals' health promotion, but we need to have customized health promotion services for families. DKI Technology has Redwood Healthcare Platform, a PHR-based open digital healthcare platform. It is a cloud-based open API platform that provides disease prediction algorithms and PHR data to health management service providers and user companies. Our family health management application service uses Redwood Healthcare Platform to manage the health of individuals and their families through a single application. The global digital healthcare market size is growing at an average of 59% per year. It is estimated to reach $332.7 billion in 2025, and the platform market will amount to $16.6 billion. Through the Family Health Management application and our Redwood Healthcare platform, we aim to have a much larger sales. And major competitors in the platform sector are global IT companies such as Google and others. And in the software medical device area, there are AI-based precision healthcare service providing startups. And in the service application sector, various individuals service applications are competing and cooperating with one another. Redwood Healthcare Platform's business model is a platform-based public health care service that brings 250 some local governments into a public health care service ecosystem. A virtuous cycle model is at the core value provided. Also, the AI-based family health care application services core value lies in sharing family members' PHR data to provide health promotion service and third-party specialized services will be provided. Our future roadmap is to continuously expand the public and private health care industry ecosystem and to add life cycle precision medical service into our family health care application to enlarge our business into the professional medical service sector. Thus far, DKI Technologies has invested $3.5 billion in platform business, and in the next five years, we will be investing an additional $14 billion one, in which $8 billion will be fundraised. Please contact us if you have any inquiries in our business or are interested in investing.
DK Technology, through continued growth, plans to record a revenue of 50 billion and an operating profit of over 10 billion KRP. And according to our three year financial statement, as of 2019, our revenue is 19 billion and net profit is 940 million KRW. By smart diagnosis, they deal technologies to get same hard signal from smartphone and any RGM camera without wearable. If you're ready, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Huan Jin Kim from Smart Diagnosis. We are uh, we have been developing this technology for seven years. This is um, innovation. When we talk about innovation, what is innovation? Innovation is something new, and something has the commercial value. And our product is matches the innovation. The reason is very much, you will be see why it is. OK, people these days buy Apple Watch and Samsung gear for checking their health. And Using our app and web solution, you don't need to buy such device. Why don't we just use smartphone to get same signal? We get same signal just downloading our app and also from web. How we do that? We get this, such a vital sign from analyzing human pupil from just normal camera, such as smartphone or tablet PC or just a laptop. And we get heart information, such as heart rate, heart rate variability, and stress level. As I mentioned, there are products that are available on the market, such as Apple Watch, Samsung Gear, and Aura Ring. And some of them has the FDA clearance for diagnosing arrhythmia. And also, uh, Apple is releasing function for, is expecting to release function for detecting Panic attack. And those products are limited only for 100 million users. And if you use our solution, it can expand to 3.3 billion users, which is smartphone plus tablet and notebook, which is a lot. And that is great expandability. Our solution is not just app, but we are available for web. So, while you're using your smart device, such as smartphone, tablet, PC, and laptop, and it runs in the background, so the users don't need to pay attention. And just set up the time, and when, whenever you want, it runs while you're using your smart device. And it's not the image or video comes to a cloud server. It's just a bunch of numbers. And after that, we send automatically about your heart information, daily heart information about heart rate and heart rate variability and stress level, which is same as Apple Watch. It is very valuable and long-term data for telemedicine and wellness platform. This is our UI application. And this is demo version, just a film that a few days ago, myself. And as you can see, the right side is uh, while you're using your smartphone, it runs in the background. It's in my phone, and that's why I see my face. But commercial version, when you download it, you don't see that your face. On the right side, it's web version. And when you download it, it runs in the background while you're using your PC and tablet PC. How do you get a vital sign from your eye? And I heard this question many times. There is autonomy nervous rest in your everybody's uh, eye, and that rings your heart. And we developed for seven years, and the first prototype was 2017 using infrared camera. And this camera, we found the 99% of uh, accuracy matching with sensor. And after that, we moved on to smartphone. Because of the smartphone environment, very different. There's a lot of noise. We calibrate such noises. In a uh, 100, with 180 people. And we reached 90% of accuracy. Listening, when I tested it in-house, that was 92%. Our target is 95 at the end of this year. 
This data, as I mentioned, is very valuable for telemedicine, insurance companies, and wellness companies. Wouldn't it be great that your customers and patients' uh, vital sign, you see that every uh, day's vital sign for doctors and uh, the consultants. And we are targeting 95% uh, with comparing with some FDA-approved medical device. And we are on a clinical trial with a Catholic University Hospital in Seoul, targeting depression. And under the COVID-19 situation, real-time and suddenly vital sign is very important for tracking untapped. So our solution is uh, much more needed. And we are collaborating with HP Healthcare for their uh, infrared camera uh, in imported in the, on their uh, notebook and laptop. And we are just a very small team, six people. I'm working very hard, improving our algorithm very fast, and we'd like to collaborate with you. If you have any question, please contact me with this uh, information. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for your words. And the next presentation will be delivered by AI Dot, a medical and healthcare AI solution company. And I'm looking forward to hearing their AI diagnosis systems. If you're ready, the floor is yours. For the introduction, AI Dot is a healthcare IT company established in 2014. Our medical diagnosis so solutions enables all healthcare professionals to implement early screening and referrals without the barrier of heavy cost and training. Our management team is consists of IT background the CEO and COO, and also the medical healthcare industry background the CTO and CMO, and also advisors from medical school professors. We have um, 26 intellectual properties so far, and are still building up for more. Cervical AI is the AI-based cervical cancer remote readout system. Even though the visual inspection with colposcope is the proven method of early screening, and is a critical method in terms of uh, reducing the mortality of um, cervical cancer, the healthcare professionals rarely have a chance to learn it and the price of the equipment is too high. So this shows how our solutions solve this problem. With our solutions, it just takes a minute to get the diagnosis from AI and send the result to the, to the doctors to get the further consultation remotely. You have to take an image and send the PC or tablet. Only thing they have to do is to press the button to recast the result of AI diagnosis. In a few seconds. And then can send to the doctor to get a further consultation remotely. So with um, the 90%, approximately 90% of accuracy, which is uh, uh, up to 30% higher than uh, cytology test accuracy, so it can be contributed to reduce the mortality tremendously. Our database has been uh, pre-labeled from university hospital professors, and it has um, used by deep learning of our algorithm. In China, so among 4 million women patients, only 25% has been screened for cervical cancer proceeding. So with our solution, to, by reducing from 30 days to take time and cost for the cytology test to less than one day, we believe that we can reduce the mortality rate tremendously, in, not only in China, but worldwide. We also have a stroke detection AI system. Our solution can show immediately the unstable the carotid arteries, the plaques, and show the risk of um, uh, causing stroke. This enables all untrained healthcare professionals to show the risk of stroke causing 
to the patient and then let them go for further diagnosis or treatment. And um, this, this solution can be embedded in any kind of um, um, portable devices and it can be used for the remote uh, consultation. Over 15% of um, the brain aneurysm rupture patients dies in ambulances. Besides the ischemic stroke AI uh, detection system, we have also the hemorrhagic de stroke detection AI solution. This solution enables all patients so can monitor their brain aneurysm patients with being aware of the risk of um, rupture. Starting in China market, we will go to the global market from next year to Europe and USA after we got the approval of CE and FDA. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for your meaningful words today. And next, AI Tricks will present its signature product called Vital Care, an AI-driven risk prediction solution for sepsis and mortality. So we'd like to invite her to the stage, and if you're ready, please begin your presentation. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yan Ji Yu, and I'm in charge of the corporate strategy and IR at AI Tricks. The current healthcare system is still primary reactive, focusing on addressing signs and symptoms. In the face of aging population and aspiring cost of care, we AI Tricks believe that new approach to healthcare delivery is inevitable. A, a so-called silent killer, sepsis causes the deaths of over 250,000 individuals annually in the United States and is responsible for one out of every three hospital deaths. The situation is pretty much the same in Korea and China and other parts of the world or even worlds in underdeveloped countries. In addition, it was the most expensive condition treated in U.S. hospital, according to the statistic by HCUP. The problem is, even the experienced doctors have a hard time detecting the sepsis in the early phase, as the symptoms are very similar to having cold, such as slight fever and cough, just like COVID-19. However, it progressed very quickly and may cause organ failure within five to seven days, making it a serious burden to patient, hospital, and also the insurance company. Using the most advanced machine learning technologies, we have developed Vital Care, a predictive solution for sepsis and mortality. We are currently using vital signs and lab test results collected from electronic medical records, as well as medical imaging to provide risk prediction score 4 to 24 hours before the onset of sepsis. We plan to expand our disease coverage and use prescription and clinical notes to provide more holistic and seamless experience. Though there are several companies such as Para Health and Excel Medical that offer risk solution, um, existing product in the market only monitor the current status of the patient and provide risk score. Our product, on the other hand, provides a predictive risk score four to 24 hours before the onset of sepsis, as every hour of delay in treatment increased the mortality rate by 8%, Using vital care can reduce not only the number of preventable deaths, but also the operational costs. Vital care has been proved to deliver accurate and safe and reliable solution. When we ran our solution on patients who passed away from sepsis, the results show over 90% accuracy. We plan to offer vital care through B2B direct sale to the hospital, as well as indirect sale through ICU and EMR vendors, such as Epic and Cerner. We have received a lot of traction around the world. We are advancing our product for global launch through a partnership with top-tier hospitals in both South Korea and overseas, such as Cleveland Clinic in the United States. 
in addition to receiving awards from global companies such as Intel and Oracle, we are also the first Korean startup to join Intel's AI Builders program. The AI Tricks team represents the perfect balance of tech-savvy and proven business success. CEO Jin Kyu Yu is a serious entrepreneur who previously founded AI startup Pickle. CTO Song Ju Huang and VP Research Uno Yang are AI experts and also assistant professor at Kaius, South Korea's leading research university. Lastly, um, medical VP um, Kwang Jun Kim is the assistant professor in the Department of Internal Medicine at Severance Hospital, South Korea's one of the oldest and most prestigious hospitals, and also a noted healthcare expert. Thank you so much for your time today, and please feel free to reach out if you have any question or want to learn more about our, our company. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your wonderful presentation today. And next, we will hear from Wells Care and their wearable pain therapy solution. And due to not being able to come here from Canada, they will give us a presentation via video. So let's take a look at him. Your continued attention to Cities Against COVID-19 Virtual Global Summit 2020. Together we stand. My name is Juni Su, Global Sales Director from Wallscare, and as our next IR pitch in the biotech sector, I would like to introduce you to the future. Now, this future, named Industry 4.0, is technically already here, as most of you are logged in on your devices to watch me perform this virtual live presentation over a connection outside of Korea. Our future's technology is pretty impressive, but with so many uncertainties that COVID-19 has brought our world, this future, post-COVID-19, is also pretty uncertain. However, there are a couple of statistics that come unchanged. For example, the increase in smartphone usage is expected to hit 3.8 billion users by 2021, and an additional 1.5 billion devices is expected by 2022. With COVID-19, I'm pretty sure our reliance will tech will be even higher than this. But with all the benefits of technology, we often overlook the negative impacts they may bring us. The pervasive usage of smartphones will now lead to 3.8 billion users subjected to DQT, or also known as texting thumb pain, and the additional 1.5 billion devices will be subjecting us to video display terminal syndrome. Now, these pains or syndromes are not novel. These are the everyday pains that we all know how to feel. Our modern life has brought us these pains, but we have a strange tendency not to do anything about it. And this ignorance in pain is showing us a 30% annual increase in people with carpal tunnel, 19% increase in tennis elbow, and a significant increase in plantar fasciitis, only to name a few. And these pains are not localized to these areas. Now, why do we ignore these pains that lead us to further syndromes and disabilities? It's because our modern world makes it hard for us to go for treatment, be it the commitment to see the doctor's office, the monetary investment to go see a chiropractor, or even the life risk we may have to take to visit a major institution during a pandemic. In fact, an old technology called cold laser or LLLT is already being used at these institutions for pains I've mentioned. But these are bound to large, bulky, and cumbersome and expensive equipment that are only found in institutions. Well, no more. For the post-COVID-19 world, Wellscare brings you the same pain therapy technology to you. Because as Korea is very well known for this, Wellscare has made the tech simple, compact, and for the first time, a truly wearable, EASO. Now it's time to take care of yourself for a life without pain. Use EASO. We've packaged our device in various separate forms to better fit your demanding lifestyles that you can now find off the shelf, bringing you a new standard for healthcare devices at your home. One with excellent performance, high marketability, and superior technical ability. Our device's excellent performance is easy to understand as soon as we grasp the concept of cold laser. Now, cold laser has been scientifically be found to be able to dilate your blood vessels. And with the added heat functions of our device, yeah, so it can now effectively increase your blood circulation in a pain-affected area. Now, the increase in blood flow allows more ATP generation, which in turn allows your cell more regrowth and more regeneration, meaning the less damaged cells in the area, the less pain you have. It's a simple process that not only does it negate the feelings of pain, but allows your body to get better using its own natural mechanism. Now, many may doubt this wonderful tech, but a simple Google search will show a slew of papers showing the efficacy of the tech. But we didn't stop there. To make our users even more confident about our device, we have conducted two separate clinical studies showing positive significance. So yes, it works like a charm, and science got our backs. 
Now, the second standard, our device, EASO, has this high reliability in all markets. We at WealthScare have worked hard for the past three years to make sure we are qualified to approach the market with FCC, ICC, CE, and even FDA among our many certificates. And in such markets, our device competes best when we put it next to other pain therapy devices while boasting a high pain relief score and uniquely a truly wearable experience for pain therapy on the go. And this is why WellScare brings you a triple check with EASO, a device that is now ready to penetrate not only your skin, but a market that is expected to reach a 46.6 billion US dollars by the end of year. Now, I'm happy to say that as of Q4 2019, we have already started to see positive results and positive customers as we're available on Amazon and other resellers. Many of the pain managers of the world are excited and on board with us to utilize EASO with us. And our team has over 17 years of expertise in working with medical grade cold laser devices. And we are eager to bring you our next version of EASO, one that is capable of analyzing the patterns of uses on how our users are managing their pains. We'll aggregate this data and redirect this knowledge for our future users for all sorts of pain match made for them. In no time, WellScare will be managing all future pains that are tomorrow is a little bit less pain in the neck. Now, WellScare's success has found support before and now looking for a partner for our next chapter. And to keep our investors and users confident, we've got 17 global patents and more upcoming that ES is the answer for all future pains. Thank you for your time. I hope you consider during this pandemic and after that for a life without pain, find EASO in your life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for sending your meaningful words, Mr. Sa. And next company for this session is Internet. Today, they will share TB white space technology for coronavirus monitoring. If you're ready, please begin your presentation. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Ho sang Yu, CEO of Internet. Today, I will present the mobile coronavirus monitoring system using TB white backpack Wi-Fi. Coronavirus is spreading very fast in many countries around the world. New crises and challenges are on the way in the field of healthcare by coronavirus. It is very important to quickly find the coronavirus confirmatory. Portable thermal cameras can be dangerous for healthcare workers. Tripod thermal cameras can have some measurement errors because the measurement distance is not uniform. New mobile coronavirus solution is required for more safe and accurate measurement in outdoor. The application area will be schools, bus terminals, sports facilities, and highways in developing country. TB white space is defined as a temporary and spatially empty channel in DTB band. TB white space is charge free on license band and can service the high speed data above than 10 km. Non line of sight and point to multi point communication is possible. This system consists of management center, TB white space backpack Wi Fi, working through people detector and test kit. The temperature of people's face is measured with the working through fever detector. And then abnormal persons will be diagnosed with a test kit. With this system, past the past pace and accurate fever detection are possible. Also, you can move quickly and so measure in various places. Backpack Wi-Fi can operate for more than 10 hours with a battery. Working through fever detector can measure 30 to 48 degrees. The tolerance is uh, 0.5 degree. Korea Online Sales played a very important role in overcoming the coronavirus. But if the distribution center is closed with coronavirus, it will be difficult to copy with the short time. Because due to problems such as large space, so many products, many manpower, and complex systems. Africa in South Africa proposed to the Ministry of Healthcare. 
Inonet and the Epico will install and test in various cities in South Africa in June. Inonet is pioneering the various TV high speed market for more smart life beyond the coronavirus. The applications will be smart farm, smart city, smart transit, event and public safety service. Inonet can provide TV white space total service, including TV white device, servers, installation, and maintenance. Through the international joint developed project, we plan to develop various TV white space devices which are four times past and Wi-Fi billing systems. Inonet will change the world through disruptive innovation and partner cooperation. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much your, for your inspirational presentation. And next coming up is genealogy. Genealogy is a bioinformatics and computational genetics startup developing the world's most accurate DNA prediction technologies. If you're ready, the floor is yours. Hi, my name is Andrew, CEO and co-founder of Genealogy. We're a bioinformatics and computational genomics startup here in Seoul, Korea. Have you seen news like this lately? Hospitals around the globe are running out of blood due to COVID-19. Likewise, the number of donor registration for the stem cell has dramatically decreased as well. Unfortunately, many patients suffering from blood cancer have only a few months to get adequate treatment. And the number of people who are diagnosed with blood cancer continues to grow. But there is a good news. About 70 diseases, including blood cancer, can be cured with a simple, non-surgical blood stem cell transplant. But still, about 169,000 people per year die just waiting for a matching donor. Why is that? Because the whole process in order for you to become a donor um, takes up to two months, and the testing process is costly as well. In order to disrupt this lengthy process, we've created the world's first untacked 100% online donor registration platform, matchdonor.org. This is the platform we're operating in the US and Canada at the moment. Our users simply upload some personal information and upload existing DNA data. There is no need to go to a physical location like hospital or labs, or even pay for a testing kit. This is how the donor reports look like. Is it too good to be true? According to MIT, one third of US adult population have access to their raw DNA data. Regardless of the data format, our users can simply upload the raw DNA data. It only takes about a minute. Let me take a moment to briefly go over some key technologies. So this is the current testing method, which is really expensive and lengthy process. So with our platform, matchdonor.org, all you have to do is just upload any type of existing DNA data to our platform, and the rest is automatically done through our backend solution. The technology behind uh, is machine learning algorithm that predicts missing pieces of DNA information. That technology is called imputation, and we have more than a decade of experience in this field. We have the highest accuracy in the world currently, but our goal is to reach 99% by 2021. Then what is HLA? It's the gene that controls our human immune system. So HLA controls how our body reacts to virus infection, such as HIV and coronavirus, about 70 kinds of different autoimmune auto diseases, and cancer treatment. 
the market is expected to grow as the life expectancy increases. We won TIPS program by the Korean government and selected as the top five bio startup in Korea by Deloitte. Our team is consisted of AI, bio, and IT professionals that are educated here in Korea and the US. We cannot find a cure for every disease with advanced technology but we believe that we can save many lives suffering from disease with adequate technology and analyzing bio big data. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much for your presentation. Next is an AI-driven drug delivery and discovery company, Kai Farm, and they developed a unique platform to accelerate drug delivery and discovery called KMAP. So please begin your presentation. Good afternoon. I'm Wan Kyu Kim from Kai Farm. Today, I'd like to introduce our platform for AI and data-driven drug, dis uh, drug discovery. The pharmaceutical industry is facing serious challenges because it takes tremendous amount of time and cost. But less than 5% of drug candidates pass clinical trials and actually prove. Considering a single drug may influence dozens of targets, unknown off-targets may cause a serious side effect. Sometimes, off-targets can be useful, as you have seen rem uh, remdesivir case for COVID-19 treatment. We call this drug repositioning, where existing drugs are used for other diseases. One critical reason of such high failure rate is that clinical trials are conducted with limited information of drug actions. Ah, sorry. Okay. Okay. So drug candidates are typically tested in vitro or in vivo, which typically provides one to several hundred bits of information. On the other hand, the current genome scale molecular profiling, such as transcriptome profiling, provides quantitative information for tens of thousands of features. In 2006, the first large-scale drug industry transcript data set, or CMAP, was published in the journal Science. The key idea is, once we have such a reference data set for thousands of drugs, expression profiles of any drug candidates can be comparatively analyzed to provide rich information on drug mode of action. It would eventually facilitate the entire drug discovery process more efficient and more successful. And this approach is called the CMAP analysis. The validity of CMAP analysis has been proved extensively with more than 1,500 citations for the original CMAP paper. And our team has been able to discover repositioning drug candidates to treat cancer metastasis and also overcome drug resistance. However, the profiling technologies to generate the public data CMAP do have limitations in terms of gene coverage and data quality. It covers only 60% of the total 20,000 human genes, and the information for the remaining 8,000 genes are just blank. However, our platform KMAP is based on the next gender sequencing technology, which profiles the full 20,000 human genes in more accuracy. So this project is called KMAP, and we are collaborating closely with Pasteur Institute of Korea. To our knowledge, KMAP is the first and only attempt to generate large-scale trans drug-induced trans transcriptome using uh, NGS technology. So the KMAP is applicable to diverse areas in drug discovery, including comprehensive understanding of drug mode of action, drug repositioning, target identification, discovery of novel indications for failed drugs or natural product. It also provides useful information for leader selection compound. And we are planning to launch KMAP Global Service uh, pretty soon, and we'll, it will cover nearly all those FDA-approved drugs 
as well as EU and Japan drugs. And due to limited time, I didn't mention the, uh, due to limited time, I didn't mention the other technologies we have. We have patented large-scale mining with drug screening data set, which is called Bayer and Bacon. And then one of them is patented for both Korean and US. And I studied bioinformatics for nearly 20 years and worked as a professor at Iwa Wons University for more than 10 years. And then Kaifam was founded based on the technologies developed in our laboratory in, in one and a half years ago. So now we have 10 people, including five PhDs and three masters. So early this year, we got Series S funding of about $4.5 billion. And then in total, we were able to get uh, like uh, $5.6 uh, million so far. So my pre presentation will stop here. And then thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation today. And we'll now introduce Kurem, a lyceum of well-being. So we would like to invite him to the stage. And if you're ready, please begin your presentation. Okay. Hello, I'm C.C. and the director of Inkim from Kiraom, a venture startup company from South Korea. We are developing digital therapy for sleep apnea through the integration of dental prosthetics, sensors, and applications. Sleep apnea is a condition that your airway blocked while you sleep and cause breathing problems. Over 200 million people around the world and about a half a million people in South Korea suffer from this disease, including myself. Also, it doubles the risk of stroke and heart disease. 91% of trucks and bus drivers reported that their traffic accident rate is increased by more than 4.8 four, uh, four, 4 times by their driving tired during the day without being able to sleep at night due to the illness. Currently, there are two typical treatments for the sleep amnia. One is a CPAP, short for continuous positive airway pressure, as an, as an oxygen respirator, and MAD, supermandibular advancement device, as a corrective device. However, the CPAP devices are, the CPAP devices are inconvenient to wear while sleeping, and 70% of patients refuse treatment. Moreover, a long-term data management service in CPAP is heavily dependent on the patient's willingness. On the other hand, the MAD is preferred by patients because it's simple to wear. However, there's no data management service, which is crucial for chronic disease. Due to the problems of these existing product, specialists want a new service in their hands. According to the research conducted, the most required features are like the least on the left. With these needed features, specialists can share better results with patients. To give such benefit, the service needed to be integrated each different part of the service into one ecosystem with the help of digital technology. In accordance with a study conducted by Korean Academy Dental Sleep Medicine in 2018, such integration actually able to reduce respiratory disorder index by 50 to 70% of sleep amnia patients. Development of service to manage oral, oral clinic disease by embedding sensors in dental prosthetics is already proved its effectiveness by such studies. Based on the strong reference and market need, we started, a, we started a development of a service and came out with a new solution. Introducing S-Guard system. First, S-Guard. This device has two main goals. One, open the airway to secure breathing pods. Two, acquire biosignal and send the data to S-Guard application so the application can provide the data to patients and clinics. Second, the application. The application provides processes data to the patient and specialists in the clinic with various content and with a direct way of communication between them. SGOT market is equivalent to the MAD market, $430 million among the $25 billion of the worldwide market value for sleep amnia treatment. This is the expected sales of the SGOT system. After completing clinical permits in 2021, we expect to achieve sales of $11.5 million. Main sales channels are B2B medical device selling, insurance prototypes, collaboration with the companies that are servicing MAD, and the links with the chronic disease insurance companies. 
The source service is a medical device. And currently, clinical evaluation for safety and effectiveness is on the way. Since the service has been recognized for its effectiveness and necessity by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, we've, we've been funded for $1.1 million for the three years. Finally, the most precious resource we have, our team. We have the undisputed top expert for this job. 40% of the total, hands, uh, total head office in the PhD with over, four, over 40 SSA papers. We are holding 23 patents under this company. We have abundant experience in sales marketing, medical device, R&D, and regulation. Our vision is to become a cornerstone of digital therapy in the field of public oral health with the coming era of telemedicine. We will be ready to launch in Korean market, but we want to have over 200 million people around the world who are suffering from this disease even now. If you want to share our vision with you, please, it will be our genuine pleasure to have you on this journey. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much for your speech today. And next is Telefarm, where he has a motto of plants are speaking to us. We would like to invite him to the stage. And if you're ready, the floor is yours. OK, thank you. Hello, my name is Jeong Lee. Uh, I'm the CEO of Telefarm. And uh, I would like to call the business you are doing IOP, the Internet of Plants. So in this business of IOP, what we do is we use silicon microsensing technology to innovate the next generation of agriculture. For this matter, three years ago, uh, we uh, uh, collected talented people uh, from various fields. I myself uh, am the uh, uh, sensor and microsensor specialist. We have uh, the best uh, circuit designer in Korea on board. And uh, we have artificial intelligence engineer on board. We have a very nice uh, uh, agriculture specialist, which is called chief agriculture officer on board as well. Well, if you take a look at uh, agriculture, there are a lot of uh, important things that's going on. Basically, agriculture is a business where you need to use the resources very wisely. Take the uh, vineyard business, for example. Well, in the vineyard, if you use too much water, you lose the quality of your fruits. Well, if you actually uh, reduce the water, you can stress out these plants and then make this, uh, you know, fruits very sweet. However, if you use uh, too less amount of water, they'll die. So you need a very good control of the water in this case. Well, in our case, actually, we developed the uh, microsensor as thin as a strand of a hair, you know, very thin microsensor using silicon micromanufacturing technology. And then we implant this sensor into the uh, plant stem and measure how much water this plant is consuming. So this is like uh, measuring heartbeat rate and uh, blood pressure of a human being. Based on this information, we provide just enough amount of water to produce maximum quantity of the fruits to increase the maximum quality of this fruit. And the other thing actually we can provide to the farmers is that actually we can detect, monitor uh, disease at the very early stage so that we can help the farmers a lot. And we use this nice app, for example, this application for maximizing their profits. Okay. Well, uh, we have some competitors, but uh, I would like to say that we are the only one that actually fulfill the requirement of using silicon manufacturing technology to detect the uh, biological information of the plants. The world market, well, we actually divide into six different areas. The conventional smart farm, I would say conventional smart farm, and forestry, and the fruit business, and commodity crops, and recently, new emerging market of the uh, environmental monitoring and uh, urban farming as well. All together, the whole market value a year is about $3 trillion, a little less than automobile industry, many times more than the uh, electronics industry. 
Well, so the market we are targeting, for example, the foreign market, we are targeting something like $137 billion. And out of this, using our licensing technology, we will increase their profits by 30%, 50%, and we will charge only 10% of that. So within five years, actually, we are looking at the market size of the $164 billion. And these are our customers now. We are already started the, uh, doing this service uh, on global scale in Brazil, Indonesia, New Zealand, in the US, we are selling our devices. Well, the funding we are looking at is about, uh, you know, in the Series A, we've already uh, secured some part of it, and uh, we are trying to secure the, the rest. The future of our company, well, we are looking at database and uh, data company rather than agriculture company, because agriculture is a data business, nothing but the data business. Well, at the end of the day, we are looking at going to the Mars and uh, doing farming there. If you want to do the farming there, it needs to be very efficient. So we can use our silicon technology to increase the uh, efficiency of this farming uh, on the Mars. So in Korea, we say that farmers are the foundations of the heaven and the earth. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation today. And next, we have Huino a leading digital healthcare platform with clinically tested and KFDA-approved wearables powered by the state-of-the-art AI-based patient monitoring analytics. If you're ready, please begin your presentation. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Sophie Lee, Deputy CEO of Huino. Huino was founded in 2014, and we are almost six years in the healthcare business. Huino received Korea's first KFDA approval the first telemonitoring grant, the government reimbursement code, and it's uh, with its wearable ECG solution. Huino also expects to receive Korea's first new healthcare KFDA approval within this year. Huino's wearable biosensors record multiple biosignals in order to analyze the biosignals with its proprietary AI analytics stored in the cloud database. This helps medical professionals with efficient and effective diagnosis. Huino's wearable biosensors are small and easy to wear. MemoWatch can provide all those listed functions, and Huino received KFDA approval for ECG and heart rate. MemoPatch, patch type ECG monitor, can measure and monitor these biosignals continuously for 14 days. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, telemedicine and social distancing have become a central issue in the medical space. With MemoBand, healthcare professionals can monitor patients or high-risk population more effectively on a remote basis. Huino's Memo Solution posts various improvements against the traditional Holter monitors. Huino's Memo Solution is more convenient with higher diagnosis rate and is more efficient with higher productivity which eventually reduces medical cost for both patients and provider. MemoPatch supports 14 days continuous monitoring, which promotes early detection of arrhythmia. This dramatically prevents stroke cases with early and timely diagnosis. RCT studies on the ECG patch also proved that the diagnosis rate goes up dramatically with continuous monitoring of 14 days. Huino helps save time to treat an arrhythmia patient to save medical costs for both patient and provider. MemoPatch and MemoWatch have different market strategies. While MemoPatch targets primarily patients who are in need of close monitoring, including post-surgery patients, MemoWatch targets general population who are health conscious and active in personal health management. While there are many ECG patches out there, there are few who received KFDA or FDA equivalent approvals. Memo patch boasts its competitive advantages. Firstly, battery life is 14 to 21 days. And secondly, Memo AI is based on deep neural network and it is designed to remove normal sinus rhythm efficiently so that our classification layer as well as medical professionals can focus on arrhythmia more uh, effectively. 
Hyuno has worked very closely with top-notch Korean hospitals over the past few years, including Seoul National University Hospital. Hyuno has luckily invited Korea Health Industry Development Institute as our uh, financial investor. Hyuno is also ready to enter into the Southeast Asia market starting from Vietnam. Hyuno has launched Korea's first telemonitoring clinical trial this year, and the Minister of Science and ICT was the first participant in the program. Hyuno is now Series B round to raise 20 to 30 million US dollars after we raised 12 million US dollars in Series A round previously. MemoWatch is already in the commercial stage with KFD approval and medical insurance coverage. With multiple products in the pipeline, Hyuno is currently negotiating a sales a distribution agreement with top-tier Korean pharmaceutical companies. Hyuno is now ready to go to the market with Memo Solution within this year. Team Hyuno is built with the best talents in the market. All the key members boast over 15 years of experience on average in each sector. As I explained earlier, um, Qino is uh, cost competitive, yet we have higher detection rate. Qino has clear value distribution, uh, uh, value proposition. For patients, Qino aims to prevent stroke given early detection of arrhythmia and therefore to save medical spending. For medical professionals and hospitals, Huno aims to enhance productivity by reducing analysis burden and by reallocating less serious patients to small clinics away from large hospitals. For the provider, Huno aims to save medical costs caused by early detection of arrhythmia. In the mid to longer term, Huno aims to become the leader of digital healthcare ecosystem. Huno will continue to add products with various biosensors and broaden the types of diseases it can monitor until our families, friends, and the neighbors worldwide can all lead a healthy living. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you very much for your presentation today. And last but not least, we will have Hilsarian, a world-leading mobile ultrasound device company. This is our last presentation. We'd like to invite him to the stage and please begin your presentation. Good afternoon. My name is Liu Zheng Wan, CEO of Hilsarian. First, let me briefly introduce myself. I double majored in physics and electronics. And uh, founded a venture company in the early 2000s after graduation. Since then, I studied medicine at Katun Medical University. And uh, currently, I am writing my doctoral thesis for neuroscience at KAIST. And uh, when I was working in the hospital, I felt the need to develop a portable ultrasound diagnosis uh, device uh, that can be used in medical fields, uh, which led uh, to the founding of the company. So our business and R&D focus uh, on digital imaging, smart monitoring, and medical AI. So these are our three pipelines. First, uh, in the field of digital imaging, which is one of our main business. Uh, we have Sonon, a wireless portable ultrasound diagnostic uh, device uh, for on-site uh, diagnosis. It's the first of its kind uh, for an ultrasound imaging system that connects to a smartphone wirelessly to receive FDA and C medical device certification. It is primarily used in primary health care, uh, particularly in general hospitals, pediatrics, and public health centers for diagnosis and treatment. It is also used in pain treatment, maternal and child health care in developing countries, sports medicine, as well as ultrasound training. In particular, when CT or X-ray imaging is difficult due to infection risk, as in the case of COVID-19, uh, our device proves to be very effective for on-site ultrasound diagnosis uh, to check for pneumonia and severity of the diseases in screening clinics and decompression wards. 
저희 초음파, 저희 휴대용 초음파 소노는 Since uh, Sonon products are wireless, uh, they can reduce the risk of infection of the test taker uh, with the use of sterile packaging. They are also uh, very easy to use and uh, also show excellent performance in pneumonia diagnosis from the outbreak of uh, COVID-19. Hilsarion donated Sonon products to Wuhan, China and received a very good response from local medical practitioners. We also donated our device to Daegu in Korea. Hilsarion is qualified, is a qualified bidder to 26 international organizations such as the UN and uh, WHO. And uh, due to the global spread of COVID-19, major international organizations are injecting emergency funds to procure medical supplies and medical devices. And uh, Hilsarion has participated in the bid for supplying portable ultrasound diagnosis di diagno diagnostic devices to UN OPS and uh, World Bank. The company is researching and developing in a few areas, first in the field of smart monitoring we are developing a disposable smart patch system that can conveniently and constantly monitor cerebral blood flow rate, which is currently only performed by experts who use expensive equipment in hospitals. Now, uh, we also uh, in the process of developing a platform uh, which will connect uh, to the cloud uh, service. And uh, this will uh, provide uh, big data uh, to medical practitioners as well as AI service developers. And uh, the AI engine will learn um, as it goes uh, forward and evolve. And uh, we can also, uh, we also provide provide uh, several technologies uh, to solve the difficulties in the medical field using portable ultrasound diagnostics. So we focus on the guiding technology as well. In terms of AI technology development, uh, we have achieved a very significant results uh, because uh, with the support of the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy, uh, we uh, obtained the opportunity to develop an ultrasound image powered uh, by AI technology and clinical models together with uh, Harvard Medical Center in the U.S. Uh, for the next uh, four years. So in summary, Helsarian will expand from the current uh, portable ultrasound diagnostics market to the smart monitoring market in the future and grow into a leader in the global digital healthcare market. Thank you very much for Thank you. your time and your presentation today. And ladies and gentlemen, today we met 22 outstanding companies in 2020s in bio industry and untech businesses. I'm sorry that we had a limited time to have enough information of all of our innovative companies. And for further information of each company, please refer to the official website of CAC Global Summit 2020. This brings us to the end of the session and the discussion on sports will begin at 5 p.m. Korea time. Thank you very much once again. Thank you.